Welcome back fellow coding facilitators, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take the Scratch Junior project called Musical Instrument and do it in Scratch. So let's take a look at the original that was in Scratch Junior. All right, so that's the original project that was in Scratch Junior. So now let's take a look at what it looks like or could look like in Scratch. So we press the green flag. We still have our moving stars. We still have Scratch Cat who's dancing and we can click. And it'll make different sounds and whatnot for each one of these sprites. So let's take a look at this one. So the lesson plan for this recommends that you actually draw your own sprites, which is why I put them in here. However, you could also add some sprites into here. So if you wanted to, instead of picking one of the sprites that uh, you could draw, you could actually select one of the ones that's on here under the music, or maybe you could do something else. So it doesn't have to be a musical instrument. It could be something completely different. So like animals, kind of like the previous project, Animal House. Okay, so when you're doing this also, I recorded some sounds in the Scratch Junior project. Now, the way that I was able to do that in Scratch is I could actually go into here and press this record button, or I could actually select a sound. So one of the cool things about Scratch is there's a ton that you can pick from. So there are a bunch of notes you can pick. So if students are picking an instrument, they can pick different notes or even different percussion instruments, which is what I did for mine. So this makes it a little bit easier. So instead of having to record stuff, if kids don't have a microphone, you could just select the sounds that are in here. Now this project is pretty simple. So the only thing that you really need is when you click on the sprite, it's going to play some kind of a sound. Everything else is just kind of an extension that you can add. So for example, I made it so that the sprites will get larger or move whenever you click on them. So the bass drum will get smaller and then bigger. So it's gonna change size, get bigger, like that, while it plays the sound. So does both of these simultaneously. The snare drum does uh, a similar thing in terms of changing the size, playing a sound, changing the size. And this is a different way that you can code it. There's many cool ways that you can code this in Scratch. But I wanted to make it so it also jumped. So the way that I did that is I actually said, here's how high I want it to jump to, and I moved it to there. And then I just grabbed out a, a glide block. And then I moved it to where I wanted it to fall down to. And it will actually change these numbers when you do that. So whenever I move the snare drum, it's supposed to change this number. Now, right now, the scratch is actually glitching, so my apologies, but it does uh, typically work where it actually changes these numbers right here. Mine is just being a little frustrating right now. So that's all I did for here. You could also use other motion blocks, so check out the video that is on the four different ways that you can motion blocks and cause movement in scratch. Okay, so same idea for the tom, same idea for the floor tom. Same idea for the hi-hat and same idea for the crash. So all of these did basically the same thing where it either changed the size or it made it move a little bit by turning or moving up and down. Now the scratch cat is kind of like a little extension that you could do if you wanted to. In this version, we can have it so that scratch cat uses the glide blocks. So it'll move like left and right, up and down. And again, all you have to do is move the cat and then it will change these numbers right here and you can use the rotation. However, there's an easier way to do this as well. So if you use this default sprite that's in here, you can create your own dancing scratch cat by using these blocks that are in the my blocks. So these have icons in them. So here's what it would actually look like in scratch. So to see the code, we click on the little hamburger right here and you can zoom in and you can see that this is the exact same code that was going on in the scratch junior in terms of it it is moving right, moving left, it is jumping, and then it is repeating this four times where it turns right, turns left, and it does that four times. The only other thing that's different is it will change the size in these blocks and it will actually change the sound or play a sound when you click on it. So it'll run both of these at the same time. This movement stuff is all extra. If you have some advanced kids, like some second graders who really wanna get into this, maybe they'll use these blocks right here that are in the default sprite, or maybe they will all uh, use some of the motion blocks that are up in here to cause the sprite to move. 100% up to your kids and their, their ability levels. 
The only other sprites that are in here are the stars, and these are just basically moving, and they will play a sound. I added this, so then when you click, it plays a different sound and spins a little bit faster. But otherwise, it's the same idea. The main point of this particular lesson is when you click on something, it's going to make a sound. So that's the thing that you should focus on when you are creating this, is just simply using the block when I click the sprite, play whatever kind of sound you want. You could, again, have kids draw their own sprites by adding in the costumes in here and then painting, or you can have them select their, a sprite from any of the objects that they've got, or any of the sprites that they've got inside of Scratch. Cool. I hope this video made sense. I hope uh, you're able to see how easy it is to actually create the musical instrument by simply using essentially two blocks with any number of sprites to create different musical instruments in Scratch. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know something that you learned or created in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe, like, and check out the links in the description for even more free resources, such as videos, free lesson plans, and our podcast.